right, we have been practicing writing quadratic equations given different things. We've been given our solutions, we've been given the vertex and a point, but what happens if I'm given three random points on the graph, one of them not being the vertex? Well, what I want to do is I need to find A, B, and C, if I'm just going to write it in standard form, and I can do that by substituting the X and Y values from each point into three separate equations and make a system that will help me solve for A, B, and C. We actually did something similar to this earlier in the year when we were looking at matrices, but we're going to be doing it by hand today. So on example one, I have my three points. So this is an XY pair, an XY pair, and an XY pair. So I'm going to substitute each of those pairs into my standard form. And what we're going to be looking for is solving for A, B, and C. So for my first equation, I'm going to plug in negative 3, 4, X. So A times negative 3 squared plus B times negative 3 plus C is equal to my Y value, which is negative 2. Now, if I do all these operations, I know negative 3 squared is 9. So 9A minus 3B plus C equals negative 2. There is my first equation for my system. I'm going to do this again with my second xy pair. A times negative 1 squared plus B times negative 1 plus C is equal to positive 2. So A minus B plus C equals 2. There is my second equation. And then I'm going to get my third equation by plugging in that last ordered pair. So for this one, x is 0. And that's really helpful because that gets rid of my A and B terms. And I know, oops, not one. C is going to be equal to 1. This is very helpful now because I can plug this back into my first and second equations and I just have a two variable system. So if I plug that into equation 1, 9a minus 3b plus 1 equals negative 2. That means 9a minus 3b equals negative 3. Then if I plug this into equation 2, I'm going to get a minus b plus 1 equals 2, and that becomes a minus b equals 1. So I now have these two equations to work with to find a and b. Oh, sorry, I highlighted the wrong one, sorry. 9a minus 3b equals negative 3, and a minus b equals 1. These are the two equations I'm going to be working with. So I need to cancel one of my terms. Um, let's just go with b. I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 3. And that will give me negative 3a plus 3b equals negative 3. I can bring down now 9a minus 3b equals negative 3. My b's cancel. And 6a equals negative 6, which means a is negative 1. So I know c. I know A, and now I just need to find B. So I can plug those C and A values into any equation. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one, A minus B equals 1, and I'm going to substitute negative 1 for B. So if negative B is 2, that means B is negative 2. So I now have my A, B, and C values, and I can plug those into the standard form of my equation. So y is going to be negative x squared minus 2x plus 1. Let's do this a couple more times for practice. On the second example, I'm going to be following those exact same steps, starting by making my three equations, plugging in my xy pairs. So from my first one, negative 2 squared times a plus b times negative 2 plus c equals negative 1. So equation 1 is 4a minus 2b plus c equals negative 1. For equation 2, again, I have a 0 for my x value. So that's going to make this one nice and easy to see that c is 3. Then for my third equation, I get 
a plus b plus c equals 2. Now, because I know c is 3, I can again plug that into equations 1 and 3 to get it down to a two-variable system. So if I plug it into equation 1, 4a minus 2b plus 3 equals negative 1. That becomes 4a minus 2b equals negative 4. And if I plug it in for equation 3, a plus b plus 3 equals 2. That becomes a plus b equals negative 1. So I'm now looking at these two equations, and I want to cancel something out. Um, if I double this equation, my b's will cancel, so I'm going to do that. That'll give me 2a plus 2b equals negative 2. I'm going to bring down the top one. My b's cancel, and I get that 6a is negative 6. So a is negative 1. And then I need to find b. So I know c, I know a. I can plug those back into any of these equations to solve for b. I'm just going to plug in negative 1 for a into this equation. So negative 1 plus b equals negative 1. So that tells me that b is 0. So my equation for this quadratic is y equals negative x squared. I don't have a middle term plus 3. Now, both of these problems were really, really nice. Um, you know, we were able to find one of our a, b, and c values pretty instantly. Now, what happens when that's not the case? Well, we're going to have to refresh your memory on solving a three-variable system, whether you like it or not. So let's do one like that, and then we'll be all set. So this first process is still the same. You're going to set up your three equations using your x, y pairs. Remember, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c equals 1. So 4a minus 2b plus c equals 1 is my first equation. Then I am looking at a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c equals 3. So a minus b plus c equals 3. And then lastly, a times 1 squared plus 1 times b plus c equals negative 5. So a plus b plus c equals negative 5. So this time around, I've got three whole equations that I need to pare down into a two-variable system. So looking here, I think I'm going to cancel my b's. So starting with equations 2 and 3, I don't have to manipulate them at all, and my b's will cancel. So if I combine everything here, I get 2a plus 2c equals negative 2. There's my equation a. Now I want to cancel my b's again. So what I'm going to do this time is use equation 1 and equation 3, but I have to double equation 3 in order for them the b's to cancel here. So 6a plus 3c equals negative 9. This is equation b. Now between equation a and equation b, I need to cancel again. Um, I'm going to cancel my a's. I'm going to double, or excuse me, multiply equation a by negative 3. And then I can combine like terms. Negative 3c is equal to negative 3. So c is positive 1. Then I can plug that back into either a or b to find a. Um, I'm going to plug it in up here. So 2a plus 2 times 1 equals negative 2. So 2a equals negative 4, which means a is negative 2. And now that I know a and c, I can plug those into any of my initial equations to find b. I'm going to plug it into 3. 
So negative 2 plus b plus 1 equals negative 5. b minus 1 is negative 5, which means b is negative 4. So I now know a, b, and c, and I can plug those into my quadratic equation. So y equals negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. And that is how you find the equation of a quadratic when you are given three points on your graph.